Hello, I'm Jack, the Arcadin Trainer. I'm going to take you through how to start an Arcadin Anywhere web conference. Within minutes, you'll be sharing your screen, presentations, documents, or other applications online from your computer. First, start your Arcadin web conference. I will show you how to organize and start web conferences when you are a moderator. Just go to www.anywhereconference.com, click the I'm a moderator button, and then enter your web login and moderator PIN code. This information is listed on your Arcadin Collaboration Pass, found in your personal welcome email. We'll have a quick look at mine so you know what you're looking for. If you can't find it, you can always contact your local Arcadin customer service team. Their details can be found on the Arcadin website homepage. Once you click Sign In, you will enter the Arcadin Lounge, your personal conferencing portal, where you can find all information you need to manage your account, retrieve documents, download mobile apps, and much more. By the way, the first time you enter the Arcadin Lounge, remember to download the sharing add-on so you'll be able to share documents or your desktop during your meeting. Don't worry, you only have to do it once. Now, on the main screen, just click Start Your Web Conference, and now you're in your web conference. Second, invite participants wherever they are located in the world. Before your conference, you'll need to invite your participants, who can be based anywhere in the world. In your invitation, you need to tell your participants how to join the web conference. So, give them the same URL that you used, www.anywhereconference.com, your web login, and this is where you need to be careful, your participant PIN code, and not your moderator PIN code, which is personal and private. Again, this information is on your Arcadin Collaboration Pass. Third, one-click conference invitations. One of the ways to save time is to send automatic invitations. You simply download either the Outlook or Lotus Notes toolbar from the main screen of Arcadin Lounge or from the link in your welcome email. Once installed, just click Organize Conference on the top menu bar of your email application to instantly create invitations. These invitations are pre-populated with the information required to join your web conferences. See? One-click invitations to all! Fourth. Join Audio Conference. As everyone joins the web conference, a pop-up opens to provide details of how to join the audio conference. Personally, I like to use the Please Call Me option. The first time I used it, I needed to select my country and the phone number where I wanted to be called, and then I ticked Remember My Phone Settings on this computer. Now, I just click Call Me. No need to look for dial-in numbers. It saved me so much time. If this option isn't enabled on your system, or you'd prefer to dial in, select I will dial in myself. Just choose your country, and your local access phone number and PIN code will be displayed. If you've dialed in, remember to enter the synchronization code shown on screen on your telephone keypad. This will ensure you only appear once on the attendee list. Fifth, sharing. Okay, so let's start sharing. In the middle of the screen, you'll see the sharing buttons. There are three types of sharing. Firstly, your entire screen, so whatever is on your screen will be seen by all participants. Secondly, some of your applications can be shared with attendees. For example, Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel, or Word, or Adobe Acrobat. These first two options are really useful for collaborative work, so you can edit documents and everyone can view and comment on the changes in real time. The third option is to present a document as a slideshow. I think this is probably the best way to give presentations as it provides thumbnail images of each slide at the bottom of your screen so you can easily move between slides. I'm going to share one of my applications. Once you are sharing, the box showing the participant view will open so you can see what they are seeing. Sixth, a quick tour through the main functions. Now, let me give you a quick tour of the other key functions available in Arcanin Anywhere. At the top of the left menu is the Instant Invitation section. This is useful if you would like to invite additional participants to join your meeting. You can either call from the conference or send an email invitation at any time during the conference. In the next section, you'll find the Conference Management Control functions. For example, if your participants are rather noisy, you can mute them all in one click. These controls apply to all the participants. However, in the Attendees menu, you can manage the participants individually. 
As you can see, I have my colleague Jill on this call. Now Jill would like to share a document with everyone later, so I'm going to promote her to presenter. She will now have access to the three sharing buttons on the main screen. I can also send her a quick message using the chat function. Hello. If I have any new messages, they are clearly displayed at the bottom of the screen. Finally, we have a recorder, so you can record both the online and audio elements of the meeting. The recording will be automatically stored in Arkanen Lounge. Distribute this link to anyone who missed the meeting so they can access the recording. To finish the tour, on the top bar is the meeting title, which you can edit, Jack's Quick Guide to Arkadin Web Conferencing. You can get help and you can also quit the conference. But before we finish, I'll show you the audio console. Click console and you will see detailed information on each participant, their name, phone number, etc. This is particularly useful if you want to check exactly who is listening to your meeting. If there are any unrecognized callers, you can even disconnect them. Conclusion. Now you know how to efficiently organize and manage a web conference. You can start collaborating online with your colleagues, partners, or suppliers. Enjoy sharing with Arkadin Anywhere.